All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to our another tutorial with Jared. Today we're gonna learn handbrake, yay! So, this tutorial is gonna assume that you know how to use foot brake. And when I say use foot brake, I mean, probably what I would try to learn on foot brake before trying to learn a handbrake is like really knowing how to control the speed of your bike. Not just like, bare, like you know, smacking the foot brake when you're passing balance point, but like, actually being able to like chase it on command dip on command slow down a little bit slow down a lot maybe go for a scrape you know something like that really hold balance point without gaining speed if that's what you want to do chase it again dip it again you know like really being in control of your bike with the foot brake first I think is highly recommended before moving on to the handbrake because if you uh if you don't know how to do that and all you're doing is just grabbing like or like slamming your foot brake a lot when you're doing the handbrake then uh you might smack yourself forward and mousetrap and i don't want to see that happen to anybody so i would uh recommend really being in control of the foot brake first because then you can apply all that knowledge of your foot brake to the handbrake it's basically the same but just with your finger instead of your hand man i'm so out of breath i've recorded like four tutorials in a row and it's hot as balls so now i'm going to talk to you i'm going to just get right into the handbrake enough of the foot brake what i want you guys to do is cover your clutch and your handbrake when you do this stuff and you're probably going to start in double back peggers because why the hell not it's the most comfortable for people learning the handbrake probably the most stable too to be honest pretty dang stable pretty comfortable um also if you're going to be doing the handbrake i would suggest rolling your bars forward a little bit um it might be a little uncomfortable in the sit downs in the beginning but it's going to make handbrake so much more comfortable because your hands are up here instead of like when you're up being like down here it's just more comfortable especially once you start standing on the seat and uh we're gonna cover our clutch and our handbrake because after the clutch up i don't want any chance that the bike is gonna come up too fast to where like if you're clutching up and moving to the handbrake i don't want there to be any chance that you can't like hit it in time so you're just gonna need to get used to both i know that's gonna be probably kind of hard in the beginning and um probably really uncomfortable but you really just got to do it because in the long run you're going to regret it if you uh just get used to the handbrake because then if you want to start doing circle wheelies or clutch work or anything like that you're going to need to be able to do both also something else i would do just to like make sure your handbrake works in a wheelie and stuff like that i would hopefully you know knee knocker i'll get up in a knee knocker and cover both and then just use the handbrake in the knee knocker but you still have your foot by the foot brake just in case your handbrake was to fail that way you have a backup the first couple times you use it just so you can like build that trust with it you know that's what i did when i was learning it because i was like yeah it works when i'm you know on the ground on two wheels but what if i get up there and it just doesn't work on the wheelie well there you go now you have a way to test it um also probably try to like do balance point stuff first and use the handbrake and test it in the wheelie before like just going right to dipping but yeah once you get that down man i can kind of show you a little bit like how much handbrake it's really gonna take i'm gonna get up here see standard so like Big dip, a lot of brake. Little dip, eh, well that was a big dip again. But also like, I use a lot of engine brake. Like I take advantage of the engine brake. I don't just like only rely on handbrake. I don't handbrake through the gas, you know, type, type of stuff, so yeah. to the handbrake so you can see me working it and like listen to the engine too 
So you can kind of understand the point where brake is being used every time that you hear the engine going like, whoa, like it's gonna slowing down. Um, that's when it's brake time. But if you want to like go down to a scrape, if you're going to it slowly, like don't really hit the brake on your way down, you know. All right. Well, that's pretty much my handbrake tutorial. Hopefully it was uh, as well explained as I'm hoping it was. If you guys enjoyed, let me know in the comments and tune in for my next video. Okay guys, bye.